Welcome to MBBS Council. NEET 2021 exam is over and most of the students would have calculated their expected NEET score. The next step is to figure out whether my NEET score is enough to get government college MBBS seats. In this video, we are going to analyze the expected NEET 2021 cutoff for government medical colleges. Before beginning this video, I would like to remind you if you are searching for last year NEET quota for All India quota or state quota and tuition fees information for any medical college in India and if you have not installed the MBBS Council app, you can install it from Google Play Store. Okay, let's begin. As always, we will begin our analysis with last year NEET score quota for All India quota. For general category, it was 611 and the corresponding NEET rank cutoff was around 15,000. Can we say the expected NEET score cutoff for 2021 could be close to last year NEET score cutoff? No. One of the primary factors which decides NEET score cutoff is the difficulty level of the question paper. Based on the feedback from experts, physics section of the question paper was tough. It is not easy as it was during 2020. We can compare the difficulty level to 2019 question paper difficulty level. So what was the cutoff for 2019? It was 582 for general category. Okay, can we say need 2021 expected cutoff would be around 580? No, we cannot say that because we have to consider another important factor which is the number of MBBS seats. Earlier, OBC and EWS reservation was not applicable in All India quota for state government run medical colleges. Starting from this year, 27% reservation is applicable for OBC and 10% reservation is applicable for EWS. Last year, there were close to 4,000 MBBS seats in general category. EWS as well as OBC seats were only available for ESI and central government run institutions. So the seats were very much less. This year, 37% of the seats will move from general category to EWS and OBC put together. 27% of 4000 is 1080. So OBC seats will increase to 1100. For EWS, 10% comes to 400 seats. So general category seats will reduce from 4000 to 2500. Does this mean the NEED 2020 cutoff for general category will increase by 37%? No, we have to consider how many students who applied under EWS and OBC category got seats under general category last year to see if there will be any difference in cutoff. Based on the last year allotment details provided by Medical Counseling Committee, we can observe that 265 students who applied in EWS got seat allotted under general category. Similarly, 1,200 OBC students have got seat in general category. So, this will not make much difference. The general category cutoff will remain same as previous years even though OBC and EWS reservation is applicable in All India quota this year. Another major factor is the number of MBBS seat increased this year. Many state governments are setting up new government medical colleges which will be included in this year counselling. We are expecting the total MBBS seats under All India quota to increase to 6000 this year. An addition of 800 seats is expected this year. Based on our last three years of experience, we observe that there is a strong correlation between All India rank cutoff and the number of MBBS seats when compared to NEET score cutoff. So we have taken expected NEET 2021 All India rank cutoff and calculated the corresponding NEET score during the 2019 NEET exam. 
to arrive with more accurate prediction for expected NEET cutoff. We expect the NEET score cutoff for 2021 MBBS admission counselling for government college All India quota to be between 570 and 580. This is applicable for general, EWS and OBC reservation categories. For SC category, it is expected to be around 480 and for ST category, it is expected to be around 450. This brings us to the end of the video. If you want to know expected state quota cutoff for your state, comment to your state below. If you are looking for MBBS admission counseling updates and analysis, subscribe to this channel now. See you in the next video.